Ever struggled with reversing your car and knowing exactly how close you are to the wall? Well, today we are going to solve that problem. In this video, we will build a reverse parking assist system. Let's dive into the project. For this project, we are using an ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance between the car and the wall. When the car gets too close, the system triggers a series of warning signals using LED and a buzzer. As the car gets closer, the LED light up and the buzzer beeps at increasing rates to warn the driver. Here are the components you'll need for this project. An Arduino UNO board. An ultrasonic sensor. Four different colored LED. A buzzer. Four resistors for the LED. Some jumper wires. One breadboard. One USB cable. A double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch. Two lithium ion batteries. Let's start the connections. Take the breadboard and Arduino. Now, We'll wire up the 4 LED to give us visual feedback based on the distance measured by the sensor. Each LED has two legs, the long leg is the positive, or anode, and the short leg is the negative, or cathode. Connect all of the shorter legs of the LED to the negative rail of the breadboard. Connect 220 ohm resistors in series, with the positive leg of each LED to limit the current and prevent damage. Now connect the first LED to pin 2 on the Arduino. Second LED goes to pin 3. Third LED positive leg goes to pin 4. And fourth LED goes to pin 5. Now let's add the buzzer to give us audible feedback when the car gets too close to an obstacle. The buzzer has two pins a positive pin and a negative pin. Insert it on the breadboard. Connect the positive pin of the buzzer to pin 7 on the Arduino. The negative pin of the buzzer should be connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now take an ultrasonic sensor that will measure the distance between the car and any obstacle behind it. The sensor has four pins, VCC, Trig, Echo and GND. Insert the male to female jumper wires in it. First, connect the VCC pin of the sensor to the positive rail of the breadboard. Next, connect the GND pin to the negative rail of the breadboard. The trig pin, which sends the ultrasonic signal, will be connected to pin 10 on the Arduino. And finally, the echo pin, which receives the reflected signal, will be connected to pin 9. Now, we'll need to provide power to our circuit. Connect the 5V pin from the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin from the Arduino to the negative rail of the breadboard. That's it. Verify the connection according to this circuit diagram. It's time to write some code. Download the code files using the link given in the description below. Simply click the link to download the necessary files directly. Now open the code file if you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. At the beginning of our code, we define the pins for all the components we are using, the ultrasonic sensor, LED, and buzzer. We also declare variables to store the distance readings from the sensor. Pin 10 is assigned to the ultrasonic sensor's trig pin and pin 9 to the echo pin. We define pins 5, 4, 3 and 2 for our LED and pin 7 for the buzzer. We also set up variables like duration to store the time it takes for the ultrasonic pulse to return and distance to store the calculated distance from the wall. Next, we move to the setup function where we configure our pins. The trig pin is set as an output because we'll send out a pulse, while the echo pin is an input as it receives the reflected pulse. We also set the LED pins and the buzzer as outputs, 
as we'll be controlling them in response to the distance. Now, inside the loop function, the first thing we do is calculate the distance to the obstacle. To do this, we send out a pulse from the trig pin and measure how long it takes for the pulse to bounce back to the echo pin. We generate a pulse and use the pulse in function to measure the duration of the pulse's return. This value is then converted into centimeters using a simple formula since the speed of sound is known. Now comes the most important part, how the LED and buzzer behave based on the distance. We use a series of conditional statements to control them. Here's how the logic works. When the distance is between 15 and 12 centimeters, LED1 blinks every 2 seconds and the buzzer beeps at the same interval. Between 12 and 9 centimeters, LED1 stays on and LED2 blinks every 1.5 seconds. Between 9 and 6 centimeters, LED1 and to stay on, while LED3 blinks every second. When the distance is less than 6 cm, all LED except LED4 stay on and LED4 blinks rapidly every 0.5 seconds. Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the Arduino UNO to your computer using a USB cable. Then, go here and select the port. In the same menu and select board that is Arduino UNO. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Now paste the ultrasonic sensor on this side of the breadboard. And place the circuit over any car chassis or structure like this in which this ultrasonic sensor is placed to the back side of the chassis. Power the Arduino by using the battery holder. Switch it on and place the car in reverse. See how our DIY reverse car warning system works and responds as the car approaches an obstacle. You'll notice the LED and buzzer behave exactly as we programmed. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.